How's it going everybody? My name is Swanee and welcome back to another video. Although I'm not going to recap the entire season, I am going to recap just a little bit of the season finale, uh, just in case you guys need a little bit of a refresher, but <laughs> y'all probably don't because you guys have already seen the show, but uh, Aaron is the coordinate titan. We saw the beast titan is a blonde bearded guy. Uh, haven't seen him before. I don't recognize his voice or his face. Um, what else? Ymir went with Reiner and Bert. Mikasa confessed her love. Okay, so <laughs> I am going to explain. I misinterpreted that completely. Um, <laughs> I thought, okay, so I, I did read the line where Aaron was like, yo, I'm going to wrap my scarf around you forever. And I read that, but I felt like he was just saying that because he felt bad for swerving her. And I wasn't under the impression that Mikasa had given up and, you know, they were about to die. It just wasn't the same, because I we had seen her give up in season one, where Aaron's, like, was in his Titan for his first time. To those of you who have been here since the beginning, <laughs> you guys know what's about to happen. I'm not apologizing, but you guys know the deal. I didn't really want it to happen this early. So to those of you that don't know, uh, the Fox masks have like battery packets in them. They're not exactly strapped in. Carefully rested on like the chin piece. These stupid masks always give me hell. For some reason. Actually, I take that back. It's not even all the masks. It's just this red one. <laughs> all right. If you guys want my feet pics, they're on my OnlyFans. Links in the description. Don't screen record or screenshot the content and share it on Reddit under Swanee Feet Picks because if I catch you guys doing that, that's an automatic ban. So, okay, where was I? Um, yeah, okay. So, misinterpreting Mikasa's scene. Yeah, I just, I just didn't get it the first time around. But with context and going back, I was able to understand it and it did help a lot. Um, sorry to everyone. I know a lot of people were correcting me, which I appreciate. If you, <laughs> it's a, you know, I feel like it takes a certain person to accept critiques like that. I like when you guys critique me and like point out things I missed and, you know, give me context and insight on things I'm not sure of because it really adds to the whole Attack on Titan experience. And I really want this to be, you know, as fulfilling and fruitful as it should be uh, because, you know, Isayama is a genius. And he has produced an insane masterpiece. Yeah, I don't really have a whole lot else uh, other than I'm just super psyched to get into season three. You guys have really been hyping up season three and four. Uh, so without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Aaron's at the beach. This isn't a beach, this is a bathtub. I see you don't have a lifeguard here at your beach. I'm not at the beach, this is a bathtub. <laughs> Sorry. The word beach is like permanently ingrained in my head with that meme. Also, I'm assuming that was not a dream sequence just because Isayama doesn't do dream sequences. So, Aaron's actually at the beach? Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Hospital corners. <laughs> I love Aaron and Jean's banter. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Dude, I thought he was gonna go off on him. Oh, his Titan looks terrible. Yeah, look at his lower body. Holy shit. 
And Aaron... <laughs> Aaron's ass just hanging out. Hey, look at him. Oh! Aaron's missing, like, his face. That looks crazy. Mm, okay. Yeah, I was wondering what they were experimenting for. But Aaron can't... Can Aaron even use that, though? I thought that was like a female titan only. What the... Okay, so <laughs> that's not weird at all. Got two pe two sketchy ass people creeping. Mm. Okay. So she's the illegitimate child of Lord Race, and he's a regional lord who shouldn't know anything about the walls. So what does a regional lord do? I still don't know why Ymir wouldn't want to go with the scouts. She'd get to be with Krista. And she'd get to be, um, you know, safe. And team up with Aaron. Hmm. Yeah, Aaron makes a good point. And I... <laughs> I actually agree, she, yeah, that she does seem pretty normal. It really did seem fake, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking back at past times. And now she's like, you know, just your average chill person. Whoa! No. Alright, so... Damn. I thought he had, like, some immunity, no? Correct me if I'm wrong, but he was at Aaron's trial, right? Yeah, I'm not either. His nails were torn off? Damn, so they tortured his ass. Are they not supposed to be down there? Huh? <laughs> Hanji's playing dumb. Damn his hands. Oh, so these guys tortured him. Hell yeah, Hanji. <laughs> I like that. I actually like that a lot. Hanji... I saw, I saw the switch up in her behavior. Hanji kind of realized that she was treading on thin ice when she, I guess, overexposed the information. Like, you know, what is... What are... What did she say? Internal soldiers... In, in interior soldiers doing inside trust. I guess they're not supposed to be there. And I guess when she started getting, you know, like the gist, she realized that, you know, I mean, if they if they'd kill Pastor Nick for God knows what, 
then, you know, if they know too much information, then they would be their next targets. So she switched up, and she's just like, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. I don't, uh, what, is he, he's a pastor? That's crazy. Didn't, didn't even know that. Um, but I, but I love the part where she's, like, passing along the mess. Like, she knows it's them who, who've done it. Like, his hands were scuffed, and they were trying to hide it. They closed the door. Um, and so she gave, like, you know, a very... I don't even want to say vulgar, but a very, you know, intense message to, you know, whoever did it, knowing it was them, so they'd at least hear her thoughts. Um, she still got her point across, but, you know, she did it in an indirect way. It's a great way to put it. And she did it very indirectly. Uh, <laughs> I like Hanji for that. Okay, so, military police torturing Nick? I guess it's just because he's a wall preacher, right? And he's the, he's one of the few that actually know about the walls. But damn, when they tore off his fingernails, like, that's a that's a clear sign of interrogative torture. Um, they're definitely trying to get some information out of him. Military police torturing Nick. Poor guy. I didn't like him at first, but... Hmm. And this is right up my alley. I love this. Yeah. Damn, so he didn't give up anything. Wow. Alright, he's got my respect. What? Okay, so this. Why? Okay. Okay, so they're doing that to protect the wall's secrets, and they want. They want Aaron and Historia. Okay, um... Damn, okay, so the scouts are getting targeted right now. So I guess... So I guess Pastor Nick wasn't supposed to talk to them about the walls. And I guess whatever kind of information about Historia is out there is a, apparently very sensitive information as well. So they want both Historia and Aaron. Good call on Levi's part to evacuate. Damn, Levi's uh, very intuitive. Mm. Yeah, that's awfully nice. <laughs> I mean, food is food, man. Okay, so this is the Lord Race. That. Yeah, they're definitely... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is the king... Um, just because he's on the throne and he's in the front. Alright, so, when this guy started to address Lord Race, this guy started talking. So I'm going to assume that this is Historia's father. Because, if that was an uncle, then she wouldn't have direct lineage. So, should, she's the illegitimate daughter of this guy. Okay, so, these guys are... Sending the military police out. And they said that the military police failed again. They've been instructing the military police to go after, 
you know, our group for information or for God knows what. Bro, n no way that. Okay. Horse face. Okay, so they got Jean and. That's that's Armin. Oh, what a f***ing creep! And poor Armin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Historia and Armin do look so similar. Mm, and Levi's still injured. But if I was Armin, like yeah, you should wait. Just wait two minutes before I get out of these ropes, and I'm gonna. I mean, Jean resembles him a little bit. Okay, Mika says in. Damn! Oh yeah, take him to town, Mika. Bro, Sasha has the lookout with the bow and arrow? Nah. We actually have a very dynamic team. Like, everyone's got their own, you know, unique traits. That's so sick. I'm so glad Sasha got a little bit of a, you know, good good screen time in. Other than, you know, just being a potato girl. When does Levi ever look happy, though? <laughs> Damn! Levi... Kenny the Ripper, so... Levi lived with this guy? Okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah, she's done for. Okay, alright. Well... This took a turn. This is Kenny? Oh shit! Bro, what? Bro, yo! Guys! Dude, chills, bro. Dude, I've never seen Levi with this much emotion before. Bro, vein popping on the forehead, eyes wide open, mouth open, like he's not just talking like in a low tone. Bro, what what is that? Oh no way, dude. The menacing walk. The cool reload. Oh yeah, this guy means business. Damn, bro, Levi is fucking surrounded. Bro, how does he get out of that? Damn. <laughs> Guys, holy shit. Okay, hold on. Uh, give me like five minutes. I gotta write down hella information. Kenny the Ripper. <laughs> That's so sick. So, so Kenny the Ripper, capital mass murderer, could slit the throats 
a hundred military police. Bro. Okay, so Levi lived with this guy when he was a kid. What do you say for three, four years? Interesting. So this must be where Levi gets his like badass, like you know, he's sick, nasty with the blades. If he lived with with a capital murderer who's obviously free and not in prison, um, this guy's got to be badass. And also the fact that he was able to get the jump on him too. Fortunately, like I said earlier in the episode, Levi's very intuitive. So had his thought process been delayed by a second? Because, but was Kenny even aiming for him? Because she got got. Did he even shoot at Levi? Yes, yeah, so she... Damn, okay, so he did shoot at him. Oh. Yeah, barely missed. It's ricocheting off the brick. Oh my god. Okay, so... Damn, so he was going... He was really trying to kill Levi. I mean, he is a mass murderer. I'm just surprised because by the way he was talking when he was like, Oh, wow, you've grown... You know, you've grown, you've grown up so much and you look the same. And wow, it's like... It's good to see you. Yeah, he's like, oh, you grown any yet? It does, doesn't look like you changed at all. It's like, bro, you literally just shot me in the head. And I, fortunately, I ducked. So he has a group with him. And damn, everyone's strapped up with ODM and guns. So how did he get, first off, how did he get that? Uh, how does he have access to this kind of equipment? Because if he's a capital mass murderer, then obviously the capital is aware of him. Oh, pff, duh. He's a capital mass murderer. Slit the throats of 100 military police. Obviously, he got the gear from the people that he killed. Guys, I'm, sorry, I'm a little slow. <laughs> um, wow, that was actually a really good, like, intro episode to the season. All right, guys, that was a really good episode. Uh, but before we say anything, yes, I know, the battery pack fell from the fox mask. I'm doing the outro, so I'm not even going to go fix it. But, yeah, okay, so this season seems to be right up my alley. Just because, you know, interrogating and torturing for information. Not that I do that. But it's related to true crime and criminal justice and you know the scouts are being targeted now we have corrupt police military police um, hanji pointed out that you know pastor nick was interrogated by them and the internal military police are not supposed to be in trust i guess okay before i say anything else levi holy shit, dude that the way that he said kenny's name had such emotion Gosh, I don't even know how to explain it just because it wasn't like a super epic moment where, you know, Aaron transforms or, you know, it's a pretty major fight. But I love characters that are written like this where they show one emotion, most of the time it being them being very cold, emotionless. You know, the inflection in their voice doesn't go up and down. It's very consistent. And then there's something in the story that gets them riled up or, you know, for example, Kenny with Levi. For some reason, Levi felt, I guess convicted enough or pushed enough to scream out his name which can only tell me that like they've got some history and i know that they said that levi spent four years with them um but something must have happened for for levi for levi of all people dude his comrades get like murked by titans dead and he's just he's just like well shit you know like that's the field you know that's a part of the scout regiment then this guy shows up, and he just screams, man. Like, wow. Okay, so Kenny the Ripper, really interesting. Slit the slit the throats of a hundred military police, uh, capital mass murderer. So I'm wondering if because what Levi said, how trust was in disarray, how you know they they'd be able to slip in. I'm wondering if that's how Kenny and his crew were also able to slip in, because you can't tell me that mass murderers are just just walking around but they obviously did a good job at concealing themselves because it wasn't until the last second that levi realized like that it could be their group god how crazy would it be if aaron transformed right now <laughs> god that would be so wild i'm just trying to think of how levi can get out of this unless sasha and mikasa who i'm trying to think who's available they can come to levi's backup because let's say they're all in the air right now and kenny is like also right in front of them. Let's say all of them shoot. Like, one of them has to hit Levi. So I'm really curious to see how Levi gets out of this. I'm gonna end this video right here because I wanna watch the next one. When Levi yells like that, bro, this has gotta mean something. Um, oh my God, I'm still kinda shocked. Again, it wasn't like an Aaron transformation or like an epic fight that was like, you know, where I, where I jump out of my seat and I'm like, holy shit, I beat his ass, but it was like, damn like levi really bro like they gotta there's something there because levi levi doesn't 
express emotion for anybody. Anybody. This entire show, I think the most we've seen was in his OVA when like his first two comrades got murked. So I'm just gonna end the video right here. Uh, I'm gonna start the next one. So, you know, in my time, I'll see y'all in like three seconds, but depending on the upload, it might be a day, whatever. Um, yeah, okay. Holy shit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It'd be greatly appreciated. All right, I hope y'all all have a good one.